Okay, guys. What is up? This is Tukey Baller, and this is what you guys have all been waiting for: the Madden NFL 13 demo. So it just came out today. I don't know if you guys have gotten it yet. Uh, it's about 1.82 gigabytes, so it's pretty big. Um, but yeah, you can pretty much just scroll around the whole main menu, and uh, it will tell you stuff about the gameplay. But you can only play this. But uh, that's what I'm going to be showing you guys today. Uh, it's going to be Giants versus 49ers. I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to start this up, and then I'm just going to let you guys listen to the whole game, and then I'm gonna just going to shut my mic off so you guys can pretty much hear everything that they're saying. And uh, you know, this game is really cool. I haven't played this yet, so this is my first time seeing it cool. But the music, the title is just so cool. You know, I just like it because it's so like intense. Okay, but here we go. So, uh, I don't, I want to be the Giants. Here, we'll have it on Pro. There we go. Okay, so I'll just play like five, ten minutes of this for you guys. Okay, uh, here we go. So I will shut my mic off right when this starts. Uh, you know they have all these new features and I mean it looks pretty cool. They have the new announcers and uh, a whole new bunch of new features. Uh, actually they have real pictures here now. It's pretty cool. Um, but uh, yeah. Okay. Barry Sanders. Okay, so I'm going to shut my mic off now. Here you guys go. Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, friends. Jim Nance alongside Phil Sims, and you have to love, Phil, this matchup. It's one of the great rivalries around the league. There's so much bad blood. There's the history of close games, and these teams will do anything to claim bragging rights against the other. Well, when you talk about the Giants and 49ers playing, it seems like for so many years, every one of those games was always in the national spotlight, Jim. And, and we're talking about two-story franchises that have won multiple Super Bowls. So when they get together, even this year, both teams playing extremely well, it's gonna be fun to watch. When you would play in this game and attach it to what it's gonna be like here today, having to travel coast to coast for one of these teams and knowing always the pride it's in each of those two franchises, What's it like? Well, it, it's awesome. You know, there's nothing like playing in a big game where the attention is on you and the focus, and you know that both of you, even if you don't want to give the other team credit, you know you're both arguably top five football teams in the National Football League. So if you go out and win, you're sending a little story to the rest of the league, but also you're telling yourself, hey, we're pretty good. They come to the line, and it's first down. The give fights off the hit. He's brought down at the 25-yard line. When you take a look at this offense, of course, Frank Gore will be a player to watch in this one. I remember Frank Gore down at the University of Miami with all those other good running backs. He's fought through injuries, and now he is the key when you talk about the San Francisco 49ers. Trying to plow ahead. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. As we get a look at this defense, Justin Tuck, a player opposing offenses, always have to game plan for. Yeah, it's hard to game plan for him, Jim, because he can line up anywhere. He'll line up over the center. The guards will get outside and try to speed rush you. Justin Tuck, very versatile. This is a big-time return. 
And here's two-time Super Bowl winning quarterback out of Ole Miss, Eli Manning, taking the field. Eli Manning coming off the best year of his career, threw the football better than ever, uh, got it done in the clutch in the fourth quarter, overtimes when you needed a big play, Eli Manning got it done. Good job here by the quarterback. He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. When you look at the lineups, a player to watch, of course, is Hakeem Nix. Hakeem Nix has turned into a receiver that can do it all for your football team. Good size, he has long arms, and probably the biggest hands in the NFL. When you have to get your gloves specially made to fit those hands, if I was a quarterback, I'd find ways to get him the football. Looks to his left, and the throw is incomplete. When you look at this defense, Patrick Willis is there standing out. Patrick Willis can do everything. He can fly up in there and take on guards and stop the run. He can cover people down the field, and he's got those long arms. So when you throw passes over the middle, look out. He'll reach up and knock them down. It's just not done enough, I think, in the league anymore. Everybody's so careful. But look what can happen. You can have the perfect throw, the perfect catch, and a big play. Now in rhythm, the quarterback drops back to throw once more. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Has the catch, but the feet are not down. Look, when you get that kind of time to throw the football as a quarterback, you got to make a better throw than that. Great job by the offensive line. Poor job by the quarterback. Play number six coming up on this drive. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Number 44, hits the call in the way. Gain of two. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. And they sack the quarterback. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a made. Throws it in the end zone. Touchdown. Always be alert. This holder can throw the football. You have to be alert for the fake. They weren't that time, and it led to a score. Extra point attempt now. It's good. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. He's got a chance to return this one. That'll stop the play right there. What a good job by the kickoff team. The ball's kicked high in the air, and they sprint all the way down there. The blockers can't get set up. Nice tackle. Now they got great field position for the defense. Now first and 10. Four. And the tackle is made at the 35-yard line. Gain of two on the play. 